As the sun is setting on the final night of our holiday, we would like to discuss holidays in the United Kingdom. Well, if you get the weather, they can be fantastic, can't they? They can. You know, but uh, you can never boot the sun, can you? That's why people go to Spain and places like that, because they're guaranteed a bit of sun on the back. If you're working hard all year, you want that, uh, that coron bun, as my dad used to say. On you, you know, you don't want to be sat there in a rain battered caravan in Wales, do you? Playing Ludo or doing a jigsaw only to find that two pieces are missing, like we are <laughs> on one of her evenings. Oh, but you were never, you never went abroad as a kid. I never went anywhere as a kid. Look at it, I didn't even have holidays in England. Got the order way dear to Southport, and that was about me. Mm. You know, my mum and dad just didn't believe in them, you know, they just thought, as I've said before, they were a waste of money. My dad always preferred to do a bit of decorating in house or something and went back work just as frazzled as he did when he, he went off. You know, he may as well have not had the holiday. Yeah, I know you said that before. I know I, when I was younger, I never used to go on holidays in England very often. We'd always go abroad. We've done the Butlins thing, though. We did we? Butlins. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, you, you did Butlins when it, when it was coming to end of its... They, they were bringing things in, weren't they? You was having perfect cinema and things like. It was just starting as you you sort of moved on to the abroad holidays. Yeah, and bullies used to be fun for for kids, but I know me and you've been. Yeah. And they don't do like the pirate days where all red coats get dressed up as pirates and then go chasing around after a pirate and no, stuff they like seem that. More standoffish now, don't they? Yeah, I don't. And kids still like it. Oh, kids yeah. still like that role play messing around, so it's not like it's because kids have changed or anything like that. I know they're all into their iPads and things, but well, kids are kids, Becky. I mean, I remember when we went to uh, Land Under, and there was that puppet show thing. I remember going to that. Yeah. And whether that's still going or not, I don't know, because I think it, there was just this one bloke running everything. At interval, he was in the ice cream booth, wasn't he? And it's <laughs> comical, but sadly, when he goes, so will that. And he got this kid up, and you could see this kid was like, mm -hmm, you know, like kids do it, teenager. Before he knew where he was, there he was, magic words, bim, bam, boozle, and all this carry on. So <laughs> kids are kids, they love it. <laughs> they yeah, it was me, it was me, actually. Yeah, yeah, it was you, wasn't it, yeah. <laughs> After a Varsteiner. After a couple of Varsteiners. No. Yeah. Well, I like holidays. I like holidays with you in the United Kingdom, but I still prefer going abroad. Getting a bit of sun and oh yeah, yeah, soaking up a different, a different culture. Cult I mean, culture. I, I don't like the Middle Eastern countries, not for reasons that are, for, you know, for recent events and that. I just don't like that pushiness that they have on you, you know, they try and sell you something. But we're also not keen on spicy food though and things like that, are we, or anything? No, I mean, if you if you love that, if you if you like playing game with them, you know, I mean, we went Turkey and, and they're the other, like, you know, yes, yes, my restaurant. And we finished up, we used to go out with them Geordies, we used to follow them Geordies out. Do you remember he was in the next room to us? There was this big bloke, he'd no teeth, <laughs> and you wouldn't mess with him. No, you will not You know, and they didn't bother with him, and we used to follow in at the back of him. <laughs> <laughs> they were all right, Tim. Go a few, go a few new kid brownies down in the bar, he was all right, talk, didn't he? Yeah. Newcastle lot usually are, though, aren't they? They're a chatty yeah. lot. I mean, that's something else that gets me. How come when you're on holiday, you'll just talk to anybody, won't you? Back home you don't, do you? You know, type of thing, you close your doors and sod in, but when you're on holiday, you're, you're dead friendly, even even with northerners will speak to southerners. <laughs> so the other way around, southerners won't speak to us. Well, yeah, we've got a couple next door to us, and it's too close all our time, drag anything out of, and hello out of them. Yeah. We've had a sentence out of them today. Yeah, only because I pushed myself on. <laughs> you know, but... You, know, normally... you went and nicked the roof. <laughs> yeah, nicked nick the roof, yeah. We ain't got an Uber, we'll have yours. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but you know, like I said, when you're away on holiday, you, you do, don't you? You just, you just talk to people. All those barriers, they come down. I think it's because you're British, especially abroad. You know, um, it's like, well, it's us against language. them, isn't it? Yeah, but I always seem to find it. I'm, I'm a magnet for lost people. Yeah, big information sound on your book. Yeah, wherever we go, don't matter where we are. Middle of Germany. I obviously don't speak German or know anything to do with Germany. You're the person but it's always been the country excuse me can you tell me whether yeah you're the one that has the big eye on your back aren't you yeah, yeah i think you've been uh, mistaken for being an italian when you've had a bit of a suntan you remember that bloke coming over babbling on to you in <laughs> yeah italian? And you just looked at it blank yeah 
Well, better than being classed as a beggar, I guess. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's that to it, you know. Um, it's, yeah, it's pretty good. I mean, there's one thing I will give in myself. They always seem to know I'm English. I must just lose English. And that's... Half the time I can't understand what you're saying, though, because you've got that quite a thick Wigan accent. Yeah, that's fun, isn't it? When you've got me try to talk to one of the Scots, you've got a very thick Scottish accent. <laughs> and neither of us know what the other one strikes are. <laughs> It's like me and you living together, though. I don't understand you half the time. Well, yeah, you, you've been married to me for years and you don't know what I'm Not, yeah, yeah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we end up in the middle of nowhere very often, because yeah. I've agreed to go with you. But no, I'm going back to holiday. So, you know, I, I think I have missed out as a kid not going away on holiday. Because if I hadn't met you, I'll be honest with you, I don't think I'd have gone away anywhere. I didn't think I'd ever get you away again, though, after the first... What, after uh, Turkey? Turkey. Why, what, did you, why do you think I won't go away? Cause you Turkey? didn't enjoy Turkey, did you? You got, you got your legs burnt for a start, so you, <laughs> you couldn't walk. Oh, well, that's some mad Englishman just worked, because I couldn't stop, it, it wasn't that I couldn't walk. I couldn't stop, if I stopped me, it would like somebody putting a flamethrower up my legs. So I'd keep walking round, and you would try to get me some um, sun stuff, wouldn't you? Yeah. I'm after sun. And I'm just walking around like some bloody fool. <laughs> I couldn't stop. That bo- that bo- do you remember that Bobby being in that uh, chemist? Yeah. And he come out with this tan and it, with this st- scent stuff and he's shoving it under the bloody thing, what he bought. <laughs> yeah, a bit of an experience there. I don't think I'd be going them sort of places no. again. Uh, like I said, I didn't think I'd ever get you away again after Turkey. It wasn't... Um... Where did we go after that? Did we go to America? Did I do jump straight to uh, America? I think I did, didn't yeah, I? Yeah, we did. I did it Florida fly. I was worried when I got on a plane because I didn't know how I'd react to it because I'd never been on a plane before. And you don't know till you get on it, you know, I could have been chucking up all the but I was all right, wasn't I? You wouldn't have had a choice. What's that? You wouldn't have had a choice. I weren't not going to Florida. No, I know, but you know <laughs> what I mean? I just didn't know if I'd be... Uh, it's all right, you know, you can be a big man and play a big eye.